Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at the MSI Center software. This is what's used to administer the MSI Raider 16 GE68 and of course other MSI gaming laptops as well. When you first launch this software, you are landed at this home screen, which is hardware monitoring by default. The setup of this or the layout of this app is three tabs. There's hardware monitoring features and support. And then within each of these tabs, you have some pages for different types of settings. In addition, we have three different icons here that we'll look at in just a moment. So the initial landing screen gives us a, a visual overview of the metrics of our current running laptop and its CPU, GPU, memory, and disk parameters, as well as some other speeds around Wi-Fi, other connectivity, and fan speeds as they're running in the current mode. That said, it's a nice visual experience to have when you land at the screen. But of course, if you're looking for more detailed metrics, you'll need to use something such as hardware info to get access to that data. So the next tab is called features. And the first page of settings we have in features is called general settings. When we head over to this page, we see that there's some configurations here that generally affect the usage of the laptop, such as enabling or disabling the Windows key, particularly good for gaming. The switch key, which allows you to toggle whether the FN plus the function keys trigger the secondary functions such as volume up, volume down, or they act as regular F1, F2, and F3 function keys. There's also a disable overdrive here or display overdrive here, which is enabled by default. You have a switch mode here for your graphics and for your MUX. By default, it's on hybrid graphics, but it can be switched over to discrete or even to integrated graphics mode. In addition, you have the crosshair display here, which enables and toggles on this crosshair on the screen. This can also be enabled using the function plus down arrow key on the MSI's keyboard. We also have a USB power share option here and a display power saver. This essentially will lower the refresh rate of the screen when your laptop is unplugged. Very handy feature. Leave this on by default. It will extend your battery life when you're away from the AC power. The USB power share is for charging your phone or other small electronic devices while the laptop is asleep. And it can be done from the right hand side USB port that's available for charging. In addition, we have hibernate and sleep setup options here. This can be switched between sleep or hibernate. Uh, and there's a closed lid auction, uh, action if you plan to use this in a docked mode. So when you close the lid that the laptop will not go into sleep or shut down. So if you switch this to do nothing, you'll be able to hook it up to your external display and operate that way. The next page under features is user scenario. This is a little bit uh, mislabeled in my opinion, because what is user scenario? If I switch this to balance, for example, a feature does not say balanced. It just says user scenario. I don't think user scenario is necessarily intuitive in terms of what it references, but this is the page where you would select the uh, performance mode for your laptop. By default, MSI you know, defaults to the MSI AI engine, which allows it to basically monitor your behavior on the device and then using AI methodology to determine uh, when and for which application it should enable GPU, CPU extra performance or quiet mode, etc. The next mode here, which is, you know, all, all guns blazing is the extreme performance mode. Here we have a toggle here. If you click on the gear, there are some additional settings such as the GPU overclock. We can overclock the core clocks and the VRAM clocks on our GPU. And finally, we have fan speed here, which gives us granular control over the fans in the laptop. You can either switch to auto mode, which is, you know, good enough. It'll automatically determine. You can leave it to cooler boost, which will try to max out the fans or you can advance option and you know tune per different levels of performance how you want to have your fan speeds the next performance mode we have is balance this is actually a not a bad mode to use for general all around uh, daily usage if you plan on doing some gaming quickly jump in and either toggle to extreme performance or switch it over to the ai engine those are two great options and great ways to use this laptop for all different types of behavior silent is essentially when you don't want any noise this will cause you know the the cpu the clocks to be lowered uh, and you'll get silent operation nearly silent operation i mean the fans never really turn off but you'll get near silent operation Finally, if you're away from the laptop, you get into super battery mode. Keep in mind that this mode is automatically toggled when you unplug the laptop, which is absolutely fantastic. It means you can plug it away, you'll get the screen refresh rate is lowered, and the laptop is switched automatically into super battery mode. Fantastic. Away from the lap, away from the AC power adapter operation of the laptop means you'll have really good uh, you know, battery life as you're away from it.
and of course we also have here gpu switch so that can be toggled from two different locations if you go over to the features tab go to the general settings page that can be toggled here as i mentioned earlier you can also go to the feature features page and the user scenario page and from here you can also toggle the discrete integrated or the hybrid graphics mode as well keep in mind that if you switch this you will need to restart your laptop uh, so that is something to note here the next page under features tab is AI noise cancellation and this allows you to set up some noise cancellation related to the speakers of the device as well as the microphone array that's built into the device by default it has an Intel smart sound based microphone array pretty common now for most laptops and their built-in microphones they do a little bit of noise cancellation and reducing the ambient background noise but it's certainly not going to give you something like a professional microphone uh, if you enable this here you can also tell it to out or uh do noise cancellation on the speakers but it can also be adjusted the or the volume can also be adjusted automatically it will balance out the sound so you get a more richer and crisper sounding experience from the laptop uh, i i think the effect is quite minimal it is noticeable in certain scenarios for, for example if you're watching movies and there's a lot of background noise you know this can help uh, however it's not going to be a make it or break it feature of this laptop the next page we have under features is the MSI AI engine. There's only a few things here that we can turn on. Uh, first of all, if you have MSI AI engine off or you're in a different mode, you can toggle it either from here by turning it on directly or you can go into features and user scenario and switch back to this mode. So let's say if I'm in a silent mode here, I go over to my MSI AI engine page, it says it's off. I can also switch back to user scenario and toggle it on from here, which means when I return to the MSI AI engine page, it will now state that it is on. As far as configurations, if you click the jog dial there, we have just a few different options here. We can show the profile switching animation, which is when you switch the modes using the function keys, you'll get these animations here. So you can see there's a function key and switching the fans will toggle on different animations for the mode. In addition, you can set it to switch to the super battery mode, which happens automatically, but you can select what percentage you want that mode to be toggled. And of course, you can say automatically switch to the, the super battery mode when the power is unplugged. I prefer to leave this option on and set it to 10% so I can get a lot more performance out of my laptop when I'm away from the AC power. And you have something called here intelligent profile. If you add any apps to this list here, so let's say, for example, if we pick 7-Zip just as an example, when we launch 7-Zip, the MSI AI engine mode will be automatically triggered and that will be the mode for operation with that particular application. As for these audio profiles and performance profiles here, I'm not quite sure what they do because it's not self-explanatory and there's no messaging or help features here that tells you what these do. But I would assume that whichever fan speeds and audio profiles you have saved it as custom, maybe they will be selected. I'm not really too sure here. All right, the next tab we have is the support tab. And the first page we end up is at live update. This is where you'll go to scan your, your PC, your laptop, to check for all of the graphics drivers and the other softwares that are running from, uh, you know, from MSI to operate this laptop. And once it finds them, you hit scan, it'll find them. You click the, the options you want to update, click download, it'll go through the download and install process. In addition, we have Microsoft App tab here. This tells us all of the apps which are actually available from the Microsoft Store within Windows. In order to up these apps, you either head into the Microsoft Store and, and update them from there. The next tab under the support or next page under the support tab is system on info. So here you'll get some pertinent information regarding your device, such as a serial number and other model numbers, etc. Uh, be careful with this page, keep it, uh, keep it safe. You can also export this information into a plain text file. Very nice to have for sending information. And then we have something called content transfer, but I'm assuming this will send some sort of a state report of your laptop, including the hardware and software and the versions of everything that's installed over to customer service uh, with encryption so that you can actually uh, get some support for your device. The next page under the support tab is service. Once you go here, you have some quick access and shortcuts to the MSI forums and a knowledge base search here. If you go over to this tab, you can search their knowledge base for any issues you may be having with your laptop and you can manage your support tickets or contact the hotline from here as well. A very nice and handy feature to have from a support perspective. And finally, the last page under the support tab is MSI recovery. This is a very nice tool. It's basically built into the laptop here. This allows you to boot into a repair environment. This will jump you into Windows PE. 
you click start here for example msi will tell you that it's going to boot into a pe environment and you can actually do the recovery and backup and restore operations from there finally we have three icons to the top right we have first the feature sets icon this talks about all of the different modules that are currently installed into the msi center software and there's additional modules that can be installed if you choose to do so for example there's an msi lighting control here uh, and there's also true color configuration to manage the true color and the color uh, profiles and settings for the display itself uh, you know feel free to do so but i believe that the the minimum installed is these five options here and of course you can go over to settings and history and see what has been installed and when when they were updated and you can also set the msi center and the features here that are installed to auto update i prefer to leave them on reminder because that way if there is an issue or if you're working on something you're not going to get a restart or an update happening in the middle of your work and the next tab here or the next icon here is the settings icon so this allows you to switch different modes visually for your msi center software a nice and handy thing to see dark mode there's light mode there's dream mode which i quite like planet and finally contrast for those who may be visually impaired so that's a nice feature to have but it's just for aesthetics you can also switch the language of operation for your msi center and switch the units for which your temperatures will be reported and there's some quick toggles here to to determine how uh, when to launch the msi center should it be minimized to the system tray and whether it should always be updated and finally we have here a login page so this login page allows you to register your laptop as well as see any product related warranty information or any warranty updates that you may require this allows this requires you to make an account with uh, msi so feel free to do so in order to get your laptop registered and you can access all of that information from here mm -hmm.